Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? I don't know. I'm Michael. I'm Kendall. And today for you, we finally have our Mintage Authentics Macabre Box. Uh, well, Boxalope. Um, this was a crazy story. Uh, you know, we're we're really good friends with uh, Michael and Cammie um, from Mintage. And they brought these to the post office and the post office basically transferred them to another station and then I guess put them in a corner or something. And um, so literally daily, uh, Michael and Cammy were going to the post office, trying to track them down, trying to get them to move on the verge of getting arrested from screaming at these postal employees, like freaking out. Like the, the lengths that they went through to get these out to us was crazy. I mean, I understand it's, it's their... Their stuff too, but what they did for the customers was just awesome. Just insane. I've seen some crazy pulls from these. Um, I know that there's some like cast piece inserts and stuff. So let's get into it and let's see what ours has. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Make sure I don't see anything. Try to keep the. I see one autograph already, which I think most people got. But let me show you guys the spoiler sheet first. Here's the spoiler sheet. Uh, it said, "You want to read it? You, you love to read." You want to read this entire thing? Well, not this. The message. Uh, thank you for purchasing our Midsummer Macabre Mystery Pack. We hope you enjoy all the goodies that are in here. We do things a bit different in the ever-changing mystery box world. We view these as a thank you to all our customers who support us. We try to be good to people, so when karma comes around, they are good to us. So far, it is working. We have been doing these for almost five years now, and we are humbled at the reception every time. We hope this won't be any different. Thank you for your support. It means the world to us. And Please remember, be good to people. Mike and Adam. And then they give us a cheat sheet. You don't want to look at that, do you? Well, maybe. We might need it. So the first thing I have here, right on top, um, it's not going to be, it's a cool one. It's not going to be a keeper. Like I said, I think a lot of people got these, but I do know some people are out there looking for one. So uh, if you were one of those people looking for one of these, oh, that's, oh, that's a cool one on the other side. Yeah. That is really cool. Okay. First up we have, uh, oh my God, why? Uh, Daily. What's her first name? E.G.? E.G. E e Daily. Yeah. I don't know who that is. I She's don't... the voice of Tommy Pickles, but she was in a Rob Zombie film. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, it's from Rob Zombie's uh, 31. And this is a cool photo. You can see her signature right up there in the corner. She almost looks like Harley Quinn, like, bad version of Harley uh, Quinn. A little bit. Yeah. Um, so, this is a really cool photo, but we're already going to be framing the uh, Tommy Pickles that we got of her. So this will be available. But on the back side, I can tell you Kendall's going to keep this. Yeah, that is sweet. We already have both of their autographs, but we didn't have it on the same page. Uh, we got a dual signed, dual signed, Lou Temple and uh, um, Otis from... Bill Mosley. Yeah, Bill Mosley, Devil's Rejects. Look at that thing. That is so awesome. I feel like we might even have a signature from that scene. I don't know if we have it from this scene. It looks like uh, Lou's autograph got a little bit... Uh, it's weird. It's like it got, I, don't, I don't know if it got smudged from the top loader or not. It got a little bit smudged, but it's still... Look at how cool that is. It came all the way through the back. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Apparently, uh, Lou Temple has a very heavy hand. So there's Lou's autograph. You can kind of see in his character name. It got a little smudged. Not his autograph, just the character name. But look at that. He put through all the way through. That's a heavy-handed signature there, Mr. Temple. But yeah, he put Adam Banjo. And that's the part that got a little... But that is so cool. This is the scene where Otis cuts his face off. Kills him slowly because he fights back. That is really cool. And then you can see inside... Oy. There are some uh, Beckett cards inside. Let me get this back in. That's really cool. Kendall will keep any autograph that has to do with Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpses, or Three from Hell. If it's an autograph from that series, 
Kendall most likely is keeping it. Yep. All right. Pretty much. So that's two. I think this is supposed to have four, four sign pieces. The next one is a JSA witnessed um, 11 by 14. Ready? Mm -hmm. What is it? I cannot tell what that is. Oh, Frankenhooker. Patty Mullen. Frankenhooker. That's very cool. That one will be available. I think we have her already. But that's still a really cool one. So 11 by 14. Patty Mullen Frankenhooker. That means we got one more here. Let's get rid of this painter's tape. Last one. Halloween. Oh, ho, ho, ho. We already have both of these guys on a Funko, but this is really cool because it's from the new one, Halloween Kills, and it's uh, Nick Castle, The Shape, and James Jude Courtney. So the two characters who play Michael Myers in both the Halloween, um, I think that's next one is Halloween Kills and then Halloween Ends, I think. Um, so they're both in all three. So having them on this, this is really cool to start like a, a piece already. Like if you wanted to start adding people to it. But that's a really cool piece. So we didn't get... I know that the, there was a uh, cast piece. I know Karen got it. Congratulations, Karen. I'm so happy for you. It was a cast piece from Lost Boys, with ha which had uh, Sutherland, Patrick, Feldman, and Newlander. So four autographs on one piece and then all the other stuff. But I got to say, I mean, we killed it in value here. I think this box was 150 I think. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think it was 115, and you've got pretty close to that in just this dual sign piece by itself. I mean, these two dual sign pieces are just epic. Really cool stuff. So, again, go check out Mintage Authentics. They are absolutely some of the best in the business, if not the best in the business. Go check them out. Mike and Adam are great. Cammy's a superhero, so big shout out to Cammy. And neither one of them could do it without their youngest daughter. Because she's an all-star. She's like Kendall's biggest fan. <laughs> she moves her hair. When she's Kendall... my only fan, probably. <laughs> when Kendall used to have uh, her long hair on one side, their daughter would pin her hair back over here so it looked like that. Do you remember that? She, yeah, she wore it better, honestly. Yeah. So <laughs> go check them out. They're great people. Um, hopefully we're going to hang out with Michael in February at a convention in Los Angeles. We hope to see him there. And uh, yeah, go check out Mintage. Go check out the Playhouse, which is their Facebook group. Go check out the Mystery Box Bunker, which is our Facebook group that you can talk with Michael and uh, Adam. And I think Cammie's in there too. I'm not positive. But anyway, go check it all out. And uh, yeah, this was this this made it worth it for Kendall right here. Yeah, that's great. It's not often that we get something that I'm that I like, you know, that yeah. I want to keep. So yeah, we got cool. from um, from Mintage. We got the uh, the Otis knife, the Bill Mosley mm -hmm. knife. It's signed, and he inscribed, "I am the devil." Yep, it's up on our it's in with, our living room. We have a whole little cubby that has our Sid Haig and uh, Bill Mosley uh, stuff from from uh, Devils from the Firefly trilogy. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit that up there somewhere, but we'll definitely keep it. So anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. See you next time. Bye.